Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. I'm Sandra with Blossom and Inspire, and um, I'm actually not really crafting at the moment. I'm, I'm trying to get things situated in here, and I thought, well, it's kind of like an organizational type, kind of, it's my type of organizational type thing, so I thought I would just turn on the, uh, the camera and bring you along. So, this is all my, I've already done some of it, like downsizing, my bazillion notebooks um, into this. <laughs> and now I just kinda need to organize it a little bit so I can get projects, ideas, thoughts, things done and out and make sure that I'm completing my to-do list. So in this basket, let's see what I have. Let's see what's in here. I have a, my bag, what's in here? I think this is pens and a, and a pair of scissors. This is it. So that can actually go down over here on top of my little, on my little shelf of tools so that when I'm out, I, when I go, now this is a journal. I started this a long time ago, and I just I like this fabric. I still do. I put some of those corners on here. My, um, you can see I'm not very good at that. It's the first time I ever did that, but that's okay. I can always be covered later on if I was going to do something else with it. And I thought I'm just going to give this a shot. It's a three signatures. Well, that was loud. Did I make it out of, actually, I think this is a book. That big of a spine. I probably should have had four or five um, signatures in this and maybe a little bit smaller. So this never made it past. And look how close I got those to the thing. It, I mean, it, it could work, but it's just not, it didn't, it didn't make it past anything else. So let's see, I've got digitals in here that I bought. I have no idea who that's from. Oh, I did, I've done some stenciling. So why is this in here? Oh, there's a fabric clip. Oh, I love that applique. I should just... Should I just tear that off? Yeah, let's just tear that off. I, I think I like this. I'm gonna save it for something else. Dude. <laughs> and look at the page is still there, so I can I can still actually do something else there and cover that up. But look, I know I made this for me because see my printer was being crazy. So there's that. I don't think anybody would want this. And then just some digis in here. Oh look, I did get some pockets on here. Just using now this is scrap pad, scrap pad paper, or whatever it's called. I got a pocket there. Ooh, and I like that pocket. So I might, if I'm not gonna do anything with this, I might just I sewed this and then glued it on. So I mean, like I could take it off and just use it somewhere else because it's got my polka dots I like. I don't know that I'll use this for me, but look at like it's can this can already done for like an idea book, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do it. This is part of my organization. I think this is why I put this in here is I wanted to decide what I want to do with this. And at this very moment with you, I have decided this is what I want to do. So I like this. It's layered up and I haven't been doing any layering lately. Who's noticed that? I haven't really been doing that and I, I miss it. So there's that. I like those two things. Um, I, I'll leave that one for right now. But look at that cool paper in here. Yep. Okay. I mean, and also I can always just untie the journal. There's just, is that empty? Yes. So I didn't get too far. This is some of that light blue. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's light blue. Uh, Kool-Aid dyed. Another nice pocket. Ooh, see some of my fun stationery. I cannot let that go to waste. I love that stuff. I did not make this one. I bought this in a cluster of somebody else and I have no idea who it is. Oh, cute. Look, it's so... That was, that's fun, and I like the way she collaged that. See, that's, that's coming out. I wanna do that. I wanna do that. So, and I talk about all the time how when you get a journal, whether it's given to you as a gift or you bought it, and if you make it, you can, you can do whatever you want with them. You can tear them apart. See, that's my tape, so that means that, um, see, it wasn't covered, and I don't like slipping stuff in the back. I would I would have never used this for a pocket or a tuck without covering that staple because um, I learned the hard way that my stuff just hits it. I don't like it. I want to be happy. So, yeah, see, my tie's not, it's just a, um, I can just stick a needle in there and pull that out if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Um, this may work to do something else. I don't know, but 
So there's that signature. And if I remember correctly, I did both signatures. See, I never finished that pocket. I wasn't, I hadn't decided. I know we can cut a sliver and make it a new pocket. But one of the things I do like doing with this is I like sealing. Here, I'll show you. I'll just do it on here because I don't know if I'm keeping this or not. But I like to just put the glue right here and right here, if you can see that. Sorry if I was out of the camera. And then just pop those down. I would just decorate the front here. Um, but this is also, depending on the type of bag, where you can like lift these open <laughs> and make and see if it was wide enough, you could make a little tuck right in here, like a little belly band type thing. And you can put a tag right through here. So I hope that makes sense. So now I, ha now I created my little tuck right here. And then if I wanted to lift these up like this, you know, pull them all the way up. It's just, I mean, this isn't supposed to be a crafting video, Sandra. It's supposed to be <laughs> a put it together video. But so what I would do if I wanted to make that a belly band, I mean, I'm already, I'm in it. So I might as well finish it out here. I don't, do I have scrap paper? Of course I don't. This isn't what we were doing. So let me grab a piece real quick. And, oh look, I have that envelope here. Right. Here's another one that was in my stash that I don't know what happened, but I must have been sidetracked. So, so for instance, just say, let me move that up in my way for a second. I'm, I'm pretty sure I had a ruler here at one point in time. I'm just going to waste some paper to show you what I'm talking about. I'm not really wasting the paper. It'll get used. It all always gets used. So um, let's see. So I got that one. I want to get that one done there. Let's do that. Oops. Just kind of, kind of, kind of close to what we can do. Okay. Just get that there and just I'm gonna go back to my scraps. Okay. So just to show you what I'm talking about. So um, so the pocket right here goes under here, so there's nothing here. So I can just glue this straight down to that. So that's what I'm gonna do, just to show you. And there, now we have a nice smooth inside to work with. And I probably, because of these are kind of rough, I would probably just, I could do washi tape or whatever. I could, I could do whatever I want. And just make up the rules as we go. Let me just put some, I'm just doing this quick. I would be a little bit more um, conscientious of what I was doing and where I was putting stuff if I was making this for someone, I, I think. I think I would, I would hope, to, I, would hope I would be. <laughs> so there, just to cover that up. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is just keep Anything that's gonna stop my stuff from sliding in and out, from getting stuck anywhere. Um, this, is, and this paper right here is just some, um, a print that I didn't like how it came out, and I did it on my copy dye paper, and so I kept it. Actually, it's not a print that I didn't like. What happened is, is I was, I was working with the printer, and my husband didn't know it, and he was working with the printer at the same time. So I'm, I'm downstairs working, and he's upstairs working. And what happened is, is I had my coffee dye. So I would print and then I'd come to my desk, print, come to my desk. Well, I had coffee dye paper in the printer because I was doing some stuff. And we don't, you know, we don't both print every single day. So it's not generally an issue. But, and usually I try to always pull my paper out. I, when I walk back to my desk, I try to remember, I'd rather leave it empty than leave my cool papers in there because you'll get a notification, right? That, hey, you need to put paper in there. So then we just do that, and I just glue that, and then decorate this. Kind of went off the went off the thing here, but I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. So <laughs> this is supposed to be an organizing, an organize. Now you can see why I don't get my organizing done. This is what happens, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I really like what I did, 
And um, so I gotta write it down, but it's gonna take me just as long time, as long to write it down as it is to recreate it again. So, oh, let me just recreate it again on something else. Oh my gosh, where am I gonna put that? Oh, look at that journal. Oh, I didn't do that one yet. Maybe I could put one in there. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, look at that page. And, you know, on and on, and it just never ends. So, now what I have, what I have here is a, let me grab some more of this envelope, scrappy-doo. And I'm just going to fold it right there just to give it some strength. So now I have a pocket <laughs> on my bag, right? And I have a belly band. Somewhat of a belly band right there where I could put a cute tag, right? And then really, if I, if I wanted to, because this pocket stops right here, I could still cut that little sliver right here, right? It's gonna open this band, so if I would've done that first and then just kinda glued this one side down, I guess, I don't know, who knows? I don't wanna keep going, because I'm gonna destroy it. That's what I do. That's what I do. Um, you can do that, and then you have this, and then you can do this page right here, decorate it or whatever, so moving onward. Let's get through this. Oh, I remember now. I liked how I did this stencil. So, the coffee dye paper was so pretty and I loved the stencil and it just had that one piece and I thought that's gorgeous right at the top and the bottom, leaving all that open. I mean, who's with me on that? I just, every time I see this page, I love it. So let's, um, I just really want it out of there, but I'm not gonna remember to do that. So maybe what I'll do this, let's grab, let's see. Who in here wants to play? Let's go, I've got this color, let's do this one. And we'll just do, um, okay, make sure I, I write upside down on my, my sticky, I want my sticky down here. So, uh, this is a stencil um, idea. Recreate it, Sandra. There we go. Recreate. Okay, and then I will just stick it up there. And then if you can see that, I'll stick it up here. So, oh my gosh, was I even on the camera? So look at this. This is what I was talking about. If we did, we're on the camera. I love the stencil. Pulling it, you know, down and kind of up. And then this the same way up here opposite. And that's gorgeous with the coffee dye. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like... It looks like it was a, um, it doesn't even look like it's something I did. Like, I feel like, I feel like it looks professional. It's really pretty. Sue, so, oh gosh, I am sweltering. It's usually freezing in my craft room and it's just, now it's like hot. I can't open the vents because I'll be freezing. I don't know what's happening here. Whew, there's another one of those pockets, loving it, loving it. Oh, so, so here's some more stenciling that I like that I did. I like that I did just one dark corner and, and I can tell by the way it looks, um, I did the whole thing light. And then I thought, oh my gosh, the, uh, the paper, and I think that's why I picked that stencil is because it kind of mimicked this to me in my eyes, a little bit of the design. And I can see because I have double stencil right here, I can see. So I must've went over this corner here a little bit darker and I liked how that played. And if I would have just took it a little bit further, I think, to bring that to caught that inking. I would have done, you know, that. So that way to make it make more sense, you know. Does that make sense? I like that a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put a ticket there like this. I think I'll know now because there's a note there that there's something I want to see here. Okay. This was also in the beginning stages. So I this is when I was like, okay, I wanted to leave these loose so I can rip them out and play with them within the book. This is something else I don't do anymore is I don't make my belly bands with, um, well, maybe I shouldn't say never. I mean, I don't often make them with the paper anymore because I'm not gentle enough with my stuff and I'm afraid I'm gonna tear it up. up. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this one out <laughs> because I, I'm gonna be, I'm, 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 I'm literally gonna rob this one. I want this <laughs> off of this paper because, did I sew it on? I don't know. No, it's not sewed. It's not sewed, it's glued. How, how strong is this glue? Oh, 
has no match for me. I want this back. <laughs> There's that burgundy, and I'm thinking, I'm wondering if it's gonna look good in that um, journal, in the tapestry journal. That's why I wanted that. So I'll leave this one. It looks like I did glue that fabric down, but um, I must have, and I can also tell, well, I think, it looks like I used art glitter glue, maybe? I don't know. But, so I'll just put this in my stash. And was there another one in here that I passed? No, there was a fabric clip and then the belly band. I learned that from Gail Agostinelli. So just that lady, she's a pretty cool chick. I like her. Yeah, and I think I did the same thing on this page. I'm gonna go ahead and still this one too. Robin it. Um, I do like the fabric, so but I want to use them someplace else because if since I don't really have a plan for this, okay, just see. I'm gonna leave that. That. And then we have another bag which I'm gonna leave alone. Beautiful papers. I really like the papers I put in here though. They are nice. They are very lovely. Oh, we gotta do this one too. I'm getting this one off here, but I'm just if I can just get that off, I'll just do that. Ugh. Boom. Done. Look at that, fantastic. There's still glue on there, but it's, it's still like movable. There we go. Take that book. So now this one's done, sort of. I got a couple things I gotta make for the idea books. I'm gonna set that aside. And these are all, these are gonna go in my fabric flips. This I'm gonna stick right over here with that journal. So now let's see, what do I have here? Yes, there's notes, there's probably things I'm supposed to have done already and I didn't do it. So, um, oh, what I wanna do, clear gesso, oh. Oh, yes, I need to do that. And then when somebody gave me that paper, what am I saying, paper crafting with Miss mm, Tommy, I think if I'm reading my writing correctly, told me how to make clear gesso. And I wanna make that, see, and I wanna make that with you guys because I want some and I know other people do and not everybody knows how to make it. And I wanna do it and I have a friend on here that told me exactly how to do it, so easy. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. That was, we already did this one, so I can throw that piece of paper away. This is, goes into, this needs to get put away. That goes into stationery. Let's just do, I think, this one. I think I already pulled everything out of here. So all of these are done. So I think what I wanna do here is just grab these papers out of this book. Is why is keeping this. I'll never be able to put these back in there. I watched, who did I watch do that? And they just, they don't have a cinch thing and they did it, and they did it. I can't remember who it was. I thought, oh my goodness. Um, I bought the, and I said, I could never get them back in there, but boy, I'd like to try. But see how crooked I already have all those? Is, or is that normal? Who knows? I don't have a cinch. I was gonna buy one, but I don't really don't know if my hands will be able to ha handle. It's still a lot of work. Gosh, I've watched, um, the only other person I've ever watched, the only person I've ever watched make a journal using their cinch thing was Gail Augustinelli. I'll, um, I'll link her on this video. I'll actually, oh my gosh, she's got so many videos, but I'll try to find her video when she did a cinching one, and I'll put that in there too, because honestly, if you wanted to do a cinch journal and you've never have, and if you haven't seen anybody do it, she has a good video. Actually, I think she's done it more than once. So now I'll just put those in my stationery stash. Um, so this one is a big go through. This one, I think I did mostly go through this. So Holly, okay, these are books, audio books. Um, um, oh my gosh, this is so funny. This, this is audio books that I've read and it's also an affirmation that I wrote down. And this was a long time ago. Um, take time off from, work, from working um, to take courses in dog behavior training, <laughs> Microsoft, oh my God. Like these are like crazy notes. These notes are like uh, over a year old. So let's see, I am open and receptive to moving into a positive new job that fulfills me and pays me a great income that's family friendly with a flex. And then I never finished my, my quote, that's funny. None of these, this doesn't go in here. I'm taking this out. So I think I'm gonna take my books. Um, um, uh, Hannah Swenson series by Joanne Fluke. I don't even know what the book, I don't even know what that is. Um, Holly Quinn, I think that's on that, Cozy Mysteries. Lucy Quinn, 
audio books. Those are, so I'm gonna put that all in books. Affirmation's done, I can get rid of that. Take I can get rid of that. Uh, Sweet Revenge by Diane Mott. And oh, and I was writing down when I listened to them because I was trying to delete stuff. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make, maybe that little book will be my. You know what? I have a ton of audio books and courses and classes. Maybe that's what this will be. So let's make a, t let's make a note. Ooh, let's do hot pink so it stands out. Will it stand out? I love hot pink. It brings my eye. It, oh, look at even my even my sticky notes have no, like I have like tons of pads with a they all have a note on top. <laughs> Belly bands, altered bags, altered envelopes, clusters, pockets, and text. Things I want to do. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's make a let's make a note. Let's use let's use this guy. See, will he pop out on this? Um, what did I say I was gonna do for this one? This is going to be um this is going to be what? Audio book. Um uh, I can't even think of the word I want to call it. So let's see, what's it gonna be? Audio books. Okay, keeping track. That's what I'll just put that. I know that. Keep keeping track. Yay! Let's do it. Okay, keeping track. And then also um, courses, like things I want to do. Courses, class. Classes, you know, things that are online. There we go. That's what this book will be. So now it doesn't matter. If I, I can just, I can really just tear it up. That's not gonna stay, is it? What should I do? I'll just glue it on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm obviously liking to tear stuff off, so why not? We'll just put a little bit of glue. Let's get that down. Isn't that crazy, huh? Let's, let's just glue a sticky note to the cover. Who cares? We'll cover it up with something else later on. You know what I could do is I could print out some of the titles to the books because I'm a visual person and then I can just like put those in there so it's not just my messy writing all the time. Yeah, I like that. Thanks guys. <laughs> this is already so awesome. Oh, so I guess I maybe I'll start off by sticking these in there. <laughs> Cause this, this is like really some of the information. So I'll just put that there for a momento. And then this, I said I can take Excel. And, did I already pay for these? Hmm. It's a good chance, but I don't know. I don't know where anything is. So this right here, let's see. I have, this is like something about essential oils that I was supposed to do. Oh, to get my smell, my smeller back and my, so that right there tells me how old this book is. Oh my gosh, this is like a couple years old. What's this? This, this, this is, oh, lots of affirmations. I really, oh, it's not all affirmations. I am open and receptive to all good. My income is constantly increasing. And then I, watch it happen what if an if a negative oh okay i was taking a class okay so if a negative affirmation comes up even in thought i just acknowledge it let it go through be gone you know like that whole episode the other day <laughs> um i love and accept to prove myself i'm open and receptive to all good okay i bring hap i i um choose to be a happy help help happy helpful loving person and i Choose. What is it? I easily flow with change. My life is divinely guided. I'm always in, moving in the best direction. I give and receive graciously. Okay. There we go. I am release. I am willing to release the pattern within me that is creating whatever condition it is. And I don't like to voice it out because I don't want. I'm willing to release whatever is. Um, you know, I, I'm willing to accept happiness. Let's just go with that. There we go. I think I can go through this out. So, um, white light intentions. Oh, I think I was doing a Sonia Choquette thing. Okay, so maybe we'll just, oh, that's not, that's Halloween. Oh, there's my idea for the kids for this year. Okay, so that's gonna be cute, I think. I think I'm gonna get um, like little car cards or like, like a little bit sturdy. I have a lot of that, uh, what's it called? The cardboard that we use. What is it called? It's a little bit sturdier. It's sturdier than a cereal box but not as heavy as a, as a book, book. I'm calling it a book board though. Anyhow, I was thinking about taking those little skeletons from the Dollar Tree. I already have tons of them. Just chopping them all apart and then reaffixing them to the plate. You know what I mean? 
I can do like a cool jelly print plate or I can do something kind of cool in there. Their head can be up there, it could be the hanger, I don't know. Or the hanger's right here and their head's up there or their hands are holding the head. Like, I mean, there's so many things I can do. But anyhow, I think that's gonna be the Halloween thing for all the kids, <laughs> so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, this is just inspiration flowers that I was drawing, so that can go in an art book. Um, this is for macrame, so this goes over into my macrame stuff. So this is, needs to get filed into the macrame section. Let's see, I, what I'm trying to do is get this, these cleaned out. So this is Ego Barking, yep, that's Sonia Choquette. Okay, I love, it. she's so, she's just so spunky. I just love that lady, so self-care, um, meditation, which I really wanna meditate, but I just don't. I just don't have a hard time quieting my mind. And what's this? Oh, and this is my, when I had my eyes yeah, I'm gonna just make this a journal book, I guess, like um, thoughts. And maybe if I have a note on it, it says, this is what it is, Sandra. Don't be using it for everything else. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, I just went over to my drawing, my, my drawing drawer and grabbed. Let's see, I'll use this one here. And, and I see there's other things in there that don't belong in there. So. Okay, this is gonna be a, uh, let me see. Self, reflection, journal space. You would think I would use a really pretty journal, but I carry notebooks with me everywhere. So this would be sitting probably next to my coffee table, next to my coffee table. It would be sitting on my coffee table, next to my chair where I sit, it's not a coffee table. It's my coffee table. So that goes upstairs. So that needs to get, I'll stick that on top of that journal. And this one, oh my gosh, I'm scared of this one. Let's see. Oh, things I want, filming arm, lighting, microphone. I don't, I don't care anymore about that. Um, dumper, this is, oh, information about the thing that we were doing, garbage, okay. Altered book, ring binder, leather and lace. I've already talked about those and done those video ideas. Stencil, decoupage, art. Okay, I'm almost over those. I have them written down someplace else. Super thanks button. Oh, I was like learning about that. Top contributors. Oh, see, what will I make to show my gratitude for soup? Okay, so that's an idea. I need to keep that. Um, then I need to, what can we do with our stamps? Oh yeah, so this was like a all these different things we can do with stamps. And I mean, literally I could do something every week with those. And we all, almost everybody I know has stamps. We need to use them more maybe. Things to sell, things that I can sell. So this is all, so we're gonna go, what do I do? What do I do? I think I'm gonna take those out. That's gonna be, I'm gonna make some little, Things to make and things to do, right? So, things to make and things to do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make those two piles. Um, it's gonna be, they're gonna be pretty, like a big gray area within them, and I'll have to just organize those later, but I think for the bulk of it, I just need to get through these notebooks. Go into pre-made stuff and sew around the edges, so things to do. Um, Make a, oh. no, I already, you know what? I already have a box of it sitting over there. It already knows it needs to be done. I don't need five notes telling me. Come help me de slash my craft room. Yes, and that's, see, and I forgot all about that, cat. And I, you're the one that was, oh my gosh. Thing, so that's something to do. I need to put that over there. Oh my gosh. So I pro I'm gonna get to this. I think I need to go through all the videos. There's so many of them. And I need to go and like re- read things and listen and see all my help I was getting because I don't know if I'm gonna find all the notes and if I wrote everybody's name down right. Monthly anniversary, see so yes, keeping track. So this is like um, office, I would call that like office stuff. Music sheet ideas, so see here's another, like what can we do with music sheets? Dried silk flowers, Um, um let's see, inside self seal envelope or laminated sheets, see I've seen somebody do that. And I can add saying, so these are, this is like something to do. How to jazz up backside of paper. Okay. Um, those go there. Thankful third. Oh, I was trying to think of like, so for a minute, I was thinking like maybe I should do like a specific thing for a specific day. Like, and then I decided I didn't want to do that because it's too much pressure to have to stick with a, that type of, that 
strict of a routine, but there's ideas that I liked about it. Um, so maybe that's to do. I'll just keep that there and go through that one later. Craft and chats, randoms, hauls, shopping seats, same thing. It was like kind of like ideas of things to put forth. Let's see. Color wheel theory. Oh, this is information. Tag notebooks. So I'm going to put that over there. Kathy's garden wax paper. See, I love Kathy's garden. I love her. Kathy is, and she's such a sweet and genuine person if you haven't seen hers. So I mean, I'm going to have to make myself a note. So um, let me see. Gail's channel. Kathy. I'm going to just put these down there because um, Kathy's garden, because if I'm talking about them, if you haven't ever seen them, I'm going to link them so that you can go check them out because they are pretty darn cool and they are very good at explaining things. Um, viewer tip. Um, crunchy copy dye paper viewer tip. Groovy chick. I wonder if that's the name of the viewer. After stamping drawings and oil wax paper, use the heat tool to set the ink. Yes, that's what it was. Groovy chick. So see, she told me to do that. So that's something I want to do with you guys and then give Groovy Chick the credit for helping me. I gotta get better at that. Um, it's nice, it's nice to acknowledge people when they help you. Scan in and create a kit. Oh, okay, I will tell you this right now. Copy I torn them ink pages, that's what to do. So, I have a lot of stuff that I make and that I would love to scan in and I have a lot of stuff that's old that I know I can scan in because of the copyright dates. I don't know how I know how to scan something. I don't know how to make a kit. Like, is there a trick to it? I've like searched on YouTube and I, I must not be putting the right words in because I can't find, I cannot figure out how to do it. And then I uh, must have got sidetracked and forgot about it. When I'm stumped, make a list of saved, watch later videos to recreate. See, things, things to help me. And there that goes there. Video on what's for sale. Um, yeah, that's kind of like I have five million same notes somewhere idea book um see and i'm doing it yay and i forgot about this pages will have a pocket or a belly band or side tuck to keep the handwritten or youtube link or pinterest file other side of the page is where i put the ephemera piece. so maybe i'll just put that over here with my idea book stuff and because if i did forget anything oh and then i wrote everybody's names down when i was to make sure that they had that the um youtube was or the pick, comment picker was picking everybody's out and i have that there um, pages, be sweet. Um, let's see. Pages. Oh, this is when I was trying to keep track of what I was doing and I, got, I lost track anyways. <laughs> tips on how to scan. Okay, tips on how to scan. Auto scan. Oh, see, I was doing this and then it went crazy and it went so far in depth with this other stuff that I was like, I'm out. I can't. I, I'm out. I'm throwing that away. Scanning fabric. Yep, I want to be scanning fabric. Um, I learned that. I'm going to say treasure books, Natasha at treasure books. Let's put her down. Um, Natasha um, at treasure books. And she just um, wrote, she just released a book um, on junk journaling and all that stuff. Maybe I should link that to um, her book. I think she... I think she sells it on Amazon, and I think you can get it even through her link. I don't know, but I will do all that. I'm not an affiliate of anything, so um, anything or any place I send you, it is. I'm not getting in. I'm not. I'm not doing it for perks. I'm doing it because I really like them, and I'm um, not to say that I would never do it for a perk, but I would only do it for a perk. Um, I would only do it. Oh my gosh, I have to love it to sell it. Period. That's why I didn't get rich with my storefront. I did well, but I did not get rich because. I can't just sell to anybody for any reason. I have to I have to love it and I have to know that they want it to. Okay, idea, pull all pre-printed digis and make hodgepodge journals. <laughs> make thank you cards for happy mail. Make a list to do, sh yes, to do shout outs and see stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Get in on that pile. And then envelope, idea, envelope with wallpaper, open an envelope, sew, ro sew around it, collage inside of the envelope, seal the envelope back up. Yeah, hello, obviously I love envelopes, let's do that. Watch later videos, what I did, I see, I don't even remember, I didn't finish my thought. Routine, okay, because I want a routine, I want to I want to know that I'm going to get up and take a shower. So that's funny, I'm going to shower at 5 a.m. and I'm going to have a copy at 4. Flip flop. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll just, we'll just try for a new list later on. Start to finish. Tissue and napkin cover, journal covers. Oh, yep, so we want to do some of those. So, ideas at Purple Cottage Crafts. Okay, so at Purple Cottage Crafts, I seen a napkin transfer and I want to do that. So we'll just, I'll save that one until we do it and then that way that stays fresh. Make a 12 by 12 wonder for thank yous. Oh yes, I see pink strawberry. She's cute, she's fun, I like her. If you haven't seen her, pink strawberry. Let me, I'm saying her name right now. I don't know when we're, I'm gonna get to this. This might be something I just do on my own. Altered books, start to finish. Um, uh, find a book that I use without worrying about what it says. <laughs> I know how to do all that, I'm not gonna keep that. I think I was just trying to keep it in the forefront. Glues, paper, uh, paper pads, whatever. Okay, now that's done. And now I have these pieces right here that I can use. I'll just, ooh, use it as a fan for a second. Oh my gosh, broke out in a sweat with that one. So let's just see, what about this notebook? Look at this big fat one right here. It's all grungy Spanish. So this is either one that I was learning Spanish a long time ago or I picked up at a thrift store. Oh, so here's my notes. Oh my gosh, I've been looking all over for this. <laughs> I started I started YouTube on March 4th. I was gonna try and keep like a little thing in here until I can get it someplace else. Um, reach 500 subscribers. See, I was like, oh my gosh, I'll do this 10 journal giveaway. I'll just do, and then it went so fast. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do like, I can't make 10 journals in, a, in you know, two weeks or whatever. So it was like crazy. Blah, blah. So look at, and I'm trying to keep track of who won the journals. I have them all written down all over the place. I need to get it all in one spot on um, one month. YouTube ideas, updates, book place. And then this is all empty. So maybe this will stay as this. I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to put another ticket on this. No, I'm not. I'm going to write right on here. Will this, that didn't stay. Will this stay? We'll just do this. Um, I think my marker's too fat. I love these Sharpie markers, but these piece, this side right here, when I buy them like this, this dries out so fast. So from now on, I prefer to buy them just the single-ended and single-ended. Like, you know what I mean? It just, I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, but I have. So I'm gonna keep this as my um, YouTube um, tracker. I'll just call it that for now. Um, Giveaways, give, I spell a right, please. Giveaways, um, um, dates to remember, etc. Do it, Sandra. Okay, now it goes there. And then this, oh, what? Oh, I know what this is. I grabbed this out of the garbage. I threw this away and then I grabbed it out of the garbage. I thought, I like the pages, they're pretty thick. And I thought it's already it's already something that's bound. So what I was thinking about doing is pulling the staples out and then re-sewing it myself after I collage all over it. So, but then I forgot that's what I was gonna do. So let's do this. So let's go um, remove staples. Collage. Or whatever. Or whatever. I want to do or whatever then so that's one thing and then two things and then this one and then um, hand so is that called binding book binding <laughs> hand so back uh, you know bind it together hand so bind it back together project so maybe this will be a project and I can just make a project pile that's already like set, sort of set, sort of set. And let's see, I've got this paper pack right here. Oh, see, look at all of these little things I had pulled apart and I have, I like retyped it up and then put in different fonts. Um, ooh, choose, you choose its destiny. I am filled with many tuck spots and pockets and even, oh, this is, oh my gosh, this is where it went. I was trying to make my own writing um, a little letter from the journal maker. I was taking like bits and parts of what I was learning and how other people describe things and just trying to really make it my own without copying anybody's like stuff. That's what this is. So, um, okay.
what a is used for or how to use it um, or how to use it you know just to give them examples there we go that's what this is so this needs to go in the office stuff so I'm gonna put that over there oops and knock stuff over and then I have this what's this I love and approve of myself I love and approve of myself I love and approve of myself everybody no, kidding. <laughs> obviously I had to drill that into my head so um oh, oh I think this is December 2022. Oh my gosh, yes, I was like struggling through that job from home. Um, yeah, you can tell. Look at my face. I was like just doodling as I was trying to take notes and stuff. Crazy, crazy. And then my, my, my crazy, creepy, fun person thing I guess was trying to pop out. I was going to get in trouble, so I needed to get out of that job. <laughs> Dying papers. Fold before putting into it the mixture. Oh, yeah, see, these are ideas to do. Okay, so that goes... Um, I'm just gonna fold that in half so it fits this pile of papers. So it looks like I already put these packs together. Um, there's this one, ideas. There's um, and YouTube channels, and this one was I think more like on the office side. I think okay. I have this that I bought a long, long time ago from Thirty One. If you've ever heard of that, it's a bag. If you've never heard of it, it's a bag company. If you've heard of it, then you already know. Look at, there's all my notebooks. I've already cleaned them out, so that's a good sign. Let me get them out of there. And then this one, I like this paper. I don't want to use it for myself. I'm gonna put that in my stationary stuff. And I have this notebook. See, I already cleaned this one out, I think. So is there a loose paper in here? Let's just get it out. I don't need, I don't need the loosey gooseys flying around on me. And, have this one. What's under here? So, oh, three, four start dates. See, here's information that I kept about myself. So, I'm gonna, uh, or that I was writing down. So, I'm gonna put that with my other journal. And now this one's empty. Oh, there's that cat. I can't, I, I keep them big and keeping the cat on my desk because I like to look at it. So I'm gonna set him right there. He's so cute. <laughs> it's just a card. It's not real, but I really like him and I really wanna give him a name. So, it'll come to me. I'll think of something. Is any, I mean like, seriously, I love that face and those green eyes. I just miss having a cat, so I guess this is the closest I'm gonna get to it. Here's another, here's, see, here's another notepad with a note on it that I don't need anymore. This notepad, um, fold at the bottom, blah, blah. See, I don't even know what this goes to. I, those measurements make no sense to me now. So that can go in the garbage. It's just a nightmare. You gotta take time to clean. I don't do that. I'm just gonna toss those. I know it sounds so wasteful, but they're just driving me crazy. So now I'm gonna get these back in my little box. See my little tray here? You know, everything. Even I got a little bit of Maggie here, so I didn't put those there like that. And then my little's right there. Oh, and then what's this in here? What are you at? What? Oh, there's Maggie. No, that's not Maggie, that's that black thread. Oh, good. Black fuzz. A little tiny book <laughs> that I thought I could make but it is the hardest thing to bind with my hands so I might try it again and then I was gonna put like little wishes in there so doesn't that cute wouldn't that be fun to make who wants to make that you want to make some little tiny itty bitty teeny weeny books raise your hand <laughs> so um this like what well, I'm never gonna do anything with this so um but you think I'm gonna throw it away no I'm gonna go sit someplace for a minute and check out this little tray. See, this is what I do. Who else does this? I don't know where it goes, and I don't want to give myself a big giant tray for the junk because it'll get full. A lot of this stuff I can just quickly put away, and then I can just clean it out. I think it's gonna forever have something in it. I hate my uh, tool, but honestly, it's wide and it's, it's short and fat, so this may be what I need for this one. I need to get myself one of those long skinny ones. I want the skinny one so I'm not making gigantic holes in my book when I'm binding them. Paper clips, I know where they go, right behind me, super easy. They're going in there instead. <laughs> this is what goes on here. It doesn't stay on there, so whoever I bought this from they failed. They felt that. <laughs> There's no protection. And then I have my little thing there. All right, I think that's everything, everyone. And then look at how that little tiny box, like I can't throw that away. Look how cute it is, it's tiny. <laughs> and my notepads, I gotta have all these notepads. All right, so there's that, that's it for this video. I thank you for helping me get pull it together somewhat. I'm gonna go put some of these notebooks away and get started on some more organizing, organizing, organization. <laughs> 
so I can make something fun. <laughs> Enjoy all your moments, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you on the next video. Bye.